I remember the first time I went to go get my car, right? I actually had to go to a buy here, pay here place because my credit wasn't good enough. And just to let you know, a buy here, pay here place is one of those places that you see on the radio that say no credit, no credit necessary, no money down, no this, come now, drive away with a car with $1 down. You ever heard that before? Those are buy here, pay here places. Those those are the places that people go to when they have really bad credit and they can't get approved at the uh, the dealership. So I had to go there. But when I went to the buy here, pay here place, they ran my credit and they said, yo, I think my credit at the time was like a 500 credit score. So they ended up, number one, they ended up. Wait, let her know what a good and a bad one is because I don't think she knows. A good and a bad what? Credit score. What should she Okay, so, so a good credit score is anything that's above 650. If you got a 650 credit score or higher, you're pretty much above average. You're pretty much around average above average. You'll pretty much get approved for a lot of things. The higher your credit score goes, the lower your interest rate is when applying for a house or a car or credit card rates. The goal is to always have the lowest interest rate when borrowing money, but they only get that to prime borrowers. A prime borrower is somebody who has the highest credit score which could be uh you know, the highest credit score is at, i blink i think over 800 i think 850 but not many people who have that like one percent of the world got 850 my grandmother has like a like an 800 and something credit score but like you got to be perfect you get prime rate literally close to nothing when they lend you money now people at the time when i was 18 years old with a 500 credit score i would go to the buy here pay here place number one the car was only worth like four G's, but I wasn't educated at the time. They actually what was it? The car was like ten thousand. So they, yeah, what kind of car was it? Was, it? it was a Chevy Malibu. And I'm about to tell you how crazy like when your credit is so bad. Yo, I had a Chevy Malibu, and guess how much my car payments was on that Chevy Malibu? Five hundred dollars a month. You know how much five hundred dollars a month is? You know what kind of car that's equivalent to? A Mercedes Benz. So I, I was driving around in the Chevy Malibu with a Mercedes Benz price because my credit was so bad and I had to go to a buy here, pay here place in order to get a car because I needed to go to work. And you were uneducated. And I was uneducated just about the car industry in general. So they got over on me at a, as a young 18 year old and I knew no better. So that was my fault. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we got to remain educated. And that's why our credit got to be right because you'll be able to use that now to go to any dealership you want and put no money down with a 3% interest rate and get whatever car that you want. So you know? could you give that's her an example of what it's going to be like when she goes to the dealership with a good credit score? Yeah, what is going now with a bad credit score, what it's going to be like, buy here, pay here, choose between all these old ass vehicles that you want. So you she know, can't or, even buy a new car? Well, most times you can't. They're not very, very rarely get a new car. And if you do, then you, man, I wouldn't even suggest it because you're going to be paying through the roof about a thousand dollars a month prior to your car payment. You know, that's why people be getting repos all the time because they just can't afford it after a while. And that almost happened to me too. I'm like, yo, I was getting so sick of this $500 car payment for this Chevy Malibu. A crappy I, car. I was ready to leave it on the side of the road and just walk away. Wait, was, can you tell them the yo, kind of problems you had yo, with what this? I, what I really was going to do was I really was going to set it on fire and was going to act like it blew up or something called the insurance yeah, company. Yeah, don't even say yo, that out loud. <laughs> no, but some real life, I was about to be like, it contemplated. my car caught on fire. Oh my God, and get all my money. So Wait, but even tell them like, like with that kind of car, what kind of problems you ended yeah, up having? Yeah, like I, I was having, I was having like, I, the car, the car came like this. It was certified pre-owned, like they said, and then the car ended up having uh, gas. My gas gouge uh, wasn't working. So, so he literally, never knew oh, when his car story? was gonna stop. Can I tell the story? <laughs> so, so you know how you know how you check to see if your car is on full or empty. My my gas gouge was always on E. So, so you just never knew when my car was going to stop. It was like, but I, but I know my vehicle though. So I felt it while I was driving. And I was like, ah, I know it need gas, you know. But like anybody else driving, you just don't know. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage you to drive that car. Now, if you got a good credit score, now, for example, we walk into the dealership and we get a, uh, and we get a a, a a Maserati or something like. I wouldn't suggest a Maserati if you don't got that kind of funds. But you go to get it. You go to get a good car. Now you, you walk into what's the dealership. What's your dream car? What what's your first car you want? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 she wants a brand new Nissan. Okay, so a brand new Nissan. That could be Or a Kia a, Optimum because they're so cute. here's the difference between a brand new Nissan. Now, you walk into the dealership with a 700 credit score for a brand new Nissan, mm -hmm. and they're going to lay out the red carpet for you. First and foremost, they're going to pull your credit score to see what your to see what your, uh, your what your worthiness is. 
right? Because credit is worthiness, you responsibility know? Responsibility level. They're going to see what your responsibility level is. They pull your credit. It's a 700. They're going to be like, all right, great. That's a great job. Now that it's a 700 credit score now, they're going to they gonna try to give you the lowest rate possible um, because you're because you're in their top tier. They got because they have tiers when it comes to the dealership. They got tier one, tier two, tier three. Most dealerships do. Tier one people are those that are above 700 credit score. Tier two are those that are around like a six 680 to 650. And tier three is anybody below that. Tier one are prime borrowers. They're going to get the best rate from the bank. So now you're going to be able to walk out with maybe they have a special going on where they only give you. Yo, these people are tripping driving right now. They give you a special where maybe they give you two percent interest, two percent interest on on the uh, on the loan. So now you talking about two percent interest on the loan. You talking about two percent interest on the loan um, on ten thousand on a ten thousand dollar vehicle? That that makes all the difference. I think two percent interest on a ten thousand dollar vehicle is what like well a thousand two hundred yeah. bucks. You know, but I'm that probably wouldn't be that. But that that's the annual rate that you would have to pay. Annually, you would pay two hundred dollars. So they would break it up into twelve months, and you would your your principal plus your actual interest rate would. So, your interest would be, honey, you know? so for any parent out there who's watching this and isn't really educated well enough, what would you tell them to tell your kids? What should be the plan to get their first car? Well, um, what what do you first, believe is the plan? First and foremost, I think the plan to get a first vehicle is that you should never, they buy it? Should they lease it? First and foremost, never ever 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 make your child's first car um a loan i would not suggest that i am not making my kids get a loan for their first vehicle what does that mean i mean mo like for going to the dealership and to finance their car i don't think you should do that number one kids are irresponsible when i when i got my first car number one i was i was dirtying it up um i i dinged it up a few times just because i wasn't responsible you know and i, and I wasn't getting my oil changes correctly when you finance a vehicle it's a lot on the line you don't got enough cash to buy the vehicle then you just can't get a car you need to get something that's within your range that you can afford and that you paid your hard-earned money to get so that you can value the car and then after valuing that vehicle now um you need to get a small credit card so you can start making small payments on the credit cards and start even understanding what it means to borrow and to make payments back because the last thing you want is to get a car and with a fifteen thousand dollar loan, and now your child, the, their their first experience of debt is fifteen twenty grand. Who who does that? It's the same as why I when I think of college, it's like the uh, introduction to college for eighteen year old kids. Their introduction to, to, to debt should not be two hundred grand. Like come on, it's the same as with a vehicle. So get your first car paid in cash. Once you've shown responsibility with your credit card that you have over the course of a year or two, and you've shown responsibility with your car that you bought in cash, that you were able to upkeep it, get the oil changes right, get your gas, because it ain't just, because remember, it's not just about the loan either. You gotta, you gotta pay for insurance, you gotta pay gas, you gotta pay uh, oil changes, tires change, that stuff is expensive. So after you learn, after you've shown responsibility to keep up with all of that and not miss one payment on your insurance and make sure the car is good, then you're responsible enough to now go into your introductory vehicle where you can walk into the bank and go get a loan after the fact that you already have a stable job to show that you're able to make three times the amount of income than what your car notes. And the parent's not stuck with the note. Absolutely, because then now I'm stuck with the note as a parent. That shows no responsibility for a child. And I don't think any child should, at, at age of 18, I should not have gone into that dealership and, and got my first vehicle. Um, at, on, a, on a buy here pay here. I, I should have I should have been uh, uh, disciplined enough to save up three thousand dollars to be able to buy my car in cash but I was trying to be fast I was trying to I was trying to impress people and, and I was I was I was you know and I was like you and know you didn't what have anybody I didn't, for sound advice yeah they have nobody for sound advice I was trying to impress people I was doing it for all the wrong reasons so instead of me waiting to save up three four five G's I decided that since they only said it was 500 down, I wanted to go get my